Museum Around Town today. I'm so excited to have special guest Renette Parker. She is an amazing educator and her business is Mindful Early Learning and she's located in Santa Cruz, California. Welcome, Renette. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me, what is Mindful Early Learning? So Mindful Early Learning is basically meeting a child where they're at. Um, a lot of us as parents have um, kind of compare our kids to, to other people's kids, our friends' kids and stuff like that, instead of really um, taking notice of where your child's at, the unique place where they're at. So that's kind of where the mindful part comes in. It also comes in because I taught special ed for many, many years, a severe special ed classroom, K through eighth grade. And once I started incorporating mindfulness practices like yoga, meditation, deep breathing, stuff like that, um, the instances of um, kind of aversive behaviors like hitting or running away, loping, stuff like that, uh, went down and communication went up. So that's what I try to teach parents as well. So that's where mindful came in. And then early learning because I kind of switched gears and now I work with children uh, about two years old to five years old. So early start, early intervention and preschool. Why did you change from K, you know, K through eight to a huge spectrum? Why did you decide to narrow it to, two, to age two to five? Well, for years, I was a preschool teacher. I was an infant, toddler, and preschool teacher. And then I actually did teach um, uh, deaf and hard of hearing preschool and autism preschool. That's always just been like my sweet spot that I, I absolutely love. And so that's what I decided to go back to. That's awesome. And so how long have you been um, running Mindful Early Learning? It's uh, about three years now. About three years, I stopped teaching at a district and opened it. But you've been teaching for, it sounds like, decades. About 26 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. So tell me what, um, what you do to get the kid to do the, the activities. I mean, it must be hard as a two through five, like just even direction is difficult. So how are you getting them to do these meditation practices? I mean, as an adult, that's even <laughs> Well, what I always explain to, to parents is they have, there has to be a buy-in. So they have to like me or else, you know, like any of us, we have to like someone, we're not going to do what they ask them to do. So I spend the first couple sessions with a child really getting to know them. We still do work on things and work on skills, but something like meditation or something like that, that's going to come down the road. What we're going to work on first is getting to know each other and building a relationship of trust. So if I'm in person with them, that means, you know, oh, they're okay with sharing their toys with me, knowing that I'm not going to take it away and make them work on something else, because then I'm going to have, I'm going to be like a negative reinforcement there. They're, they're, going to want me to go away. But if I'm, if I'm doing something they want to do or something that's making them giggle, I'll act really silly a lot of the times and stuff like that um, and ask them what they would like to do, giving them choices. So they really feel like, okay, she's hearing me and she's, she's wanting to do what I want to do. And that's kind of the buy-in of doing that. Then they realize that, okay, you know, kind of, she kind of does some fun stuff sometimes. And so if I notice they're starting to get triggered a couple sessions down and they're getting upset, then I say, okay, why don't we just take a couple deep breaths? So do you go into people's homes or how does it work? I mean, maybe you were going to people's homes, but you know, now it, the distance uh, learning is like kind of essential. So what, how has mm -hmm. it um, affected you? So um, as of March 16th, I stopped going in the homes and now I just do virtual sessions. We, um, I work for another company as well. We were kind of over the weekend had to figure it out how to, you know, get all these, all these children that had services through the regional center, um, how to basically get them what they need and teach them the skills that they needed to learn from us. And we created a really great platform. And then I started noticing that was going really good. So I moved it over to my business where I was working in the home as well. And I moved it to just virtual sessions. Um, the great part about that is that your child gets one-on-one -on -one attention and to work on skills specific to your child. So if I was in doing a group Zoom, I wouldn't be able to give each child the attention that they deserved and that they need and to work on skills that maybe they need to develop. And then to talk one-on-one -on -one with parents about further activities they can do after our session to help you know, keep, keep that learning going and keep those skills building. So you're saying that being virtual could actually enhance the parent experience with the child because instead of you just kind of babysitting, you know, or like taking care of for an hour in the home, you're teaching tools so that the parent can actually completely change their relationship. 
Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we, I've seen great things happen since March. We had a little bit of a bumpy start, I think, because everybody was really stressed out and, and we all still are. I think it's calmed a little bit. And now parents are like, okay, I'm noticing a lot of new skills that are coming from my child that I hadn't seen before and I hadn't expected. And I, it really is because they're the ones teaching their child. It's not me coming in for an hour to a couple hours a week. And then when I'm gone, you know, it's, everything goes back to the way it was. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me, uh, Renette Parker of Mindful Early Learning. And the age group is two through five. Reach out to her because she's a wealth of knowledge in, the, in this age group and beyond. So, um, and it's mindfulearlylearning.com. Is that right? That's right. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today on Jamie Jansen Zoom Around Town.